Yo, what's good everybody? This your boy JTL, aka Apple Shit from the Norm 18. Before I get started, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell. So this one is crazy, man. This this is what we try to tell women to watch out for. So this is brought to us by the Shade Room. Man parole for crime charged with deleting two nurses at Dallas Hospital after being allowed to watch his child's birth with ankle monitor. <sighs> and this is the sicko. A man on parole for a violent crime was allowed to visit a Dallas hospital for the birth of his child and ended up deleting two nurses after reportedly accusing his girlfriend of cheating on him in a maternity ward, according to authorities. Nestor Hernandez was arrested at the hospital on Saturday and now faces capital charges, Fox 4 News reports. The 30-year-old reportedly popped and deleted two employees at the Methodist Dallas Medical Center said the Dallas Police Department, who responded to the hospital at 11 a.m. after receiving reports of active. Hernandez was eventually popped by a Methodist health system police officer and was detained, stabilized, and taken to another hospital for treatment, the hospital stated. He was reportedly on parole in some form of home supervision with an active ankle monitor on when authorities permitted him to visit the hospital for the birth of his child. Man, it's damn shame. The Methodist Health System family is heartbroken at the loss of two of our beloved team members, said a statement from the medical system's executive leadership. Our entire organization is grieving this unimaginable tragedy. Hernandez was on parole for an aggravated robbery he committed back in 2015 and had an ankle monitor on at the time, according to CNN. According to a 25, I'm sorry, 2015 incident, Hernandez and a female suspect attacked a woman while she returned home from work. The duo restrained her hands and also covered her eyes with tape. Weaponized, Hernandez took her car phone and $3,000 in cash for a school fundraiser, according to the outlet. The victim in that case sustained a fractured eye and broken nose with Hernandez pleading guilty in May 2015. He was sentenced to eight years in prison. Fox 4 reports that Hernandez had an extensive and violent criminal record with the outlet uncovering arrest for robbery, drug possession, assault of a public servant, and burglary all in Dallas County alone. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia called the shooting an abhorrent failure of our criminal justice system in a statement provided shortly after the shootings. Garcia added he was outraged by the lack of accountability and an abhorrent failure of our criminal justice system in regards to Hernandez early release, which led to Saturday's tragic deletions. Garcia went on to say that we give criminals more chances than our victims, calling the justice system broken. CNN reports that Hernandez had been acting strangely in the months leading up to and reportedly accused his girlfriend of infidelity, according to an arrest warrant obtained by CNN affiliate WFAA. Hernandez began searching the closet and bathroom for someone else who he believed to have been in the hospital room after accusing his girlfriend of cheating, the warrant states. So, like I said, these are the type of dudes we try to warn women about. Respectfully, and even if you dislike it, we got to tell the truth. Look at this dude, tats and all of this. You got women out there that go for this. But... If you know anything about prison culture, watch First 48, watch the prison TV shows and all that. You know, guys with the teardrops, you don't take them lightly. Now, you got people that change their life and all of that, but you got to give them time to grow and do such. Until you've seen that they've been clean for some years, probably at least a decade. Stay away from that. I mean, you might as well stay away from it. You have situations, like I said, guys have changed and cleaned up their life. But don't expect that for everybody you run into, that's the bad boy. A lot of females like the bad boy when they're young. I get you like the excitement. But we got to realize something. We can't teach these young women to throw their life away on any type of person instead of being careful. And then expect them when they make it to the you know, older age, 30 and all that. Oh, this is the perfect time for you to settle down. They're not men. Men have to make that adjustment, those strides. Men and women back in the days used to get married at a young age. 
but we have to be more careful and stop promoting such bs to our young people man so rest in peace to those two nurses this your boy jtl opposite from the norm 18 make sure y'all subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll be back with more chip